What's going on guys? Welcome back to the episode of Fishing with Flair. Today I'm doing a video a lot of you guys want to see. And that is a video of my tow vehicle. So I'm going to go through and do a tour of it. Um, this is not, not only my tow vehicle, but it's my everyday car too. Um, and it's a 2006 Black Ford Explorer V6 4.0 liter engine. Um, and so I'll just start at the front, I guess, since I'm already here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It has 135,000 miles. I bought it with like 115. So I've put on a chunk. I've had it for like a year and a half, two years. Uh, over here, just have some GoPro parts, my phone. Nothing really crazy, a little fish hanging from the mirror. Um, the, the interesting part is in the back. Um, not the back seat, but this is the back seat. It's cleaned out. There's nothing really back here. The best part is back here. This is where I keep all my fishing stuff. You can see I've got my rods, all my tackle, not all of it, 95% neck, probably 90% of my tackle. Um, got my GoPro case. Uh, so I got my GoPro case, I got my tackle in here. I'm going to a tournament, so that's why I have so much fishing stuff back here. But this is just a box filled with Livingston gamblers, different brands of soft plastics it's mainly just soft plastics under all these baits but I just got a whole bunch of baits shipped in um, ready for the tournament and I don't really have time or the energy or don't want to put forth the effort to put it all in this all in these boxes especially because I don't know what I'm gonna need for this tournament I've never been there I have no idea what to expect so I'm gonna organize this stuff Friday night the night before the tournament so but I just got a box full of stuff I have a box full of line back there you can see most of it's vicious, a couple of some random, you know, trialine, monofilament, that kind of stuff. I have a, just a bag here, the life jacket, and then an inflatable life jacket. A bag full of uh, scale pliers. This is another camera bag. I just don't know, I'm going to be a co-angler in this tournament, so I don't really know what I'm going to need. So I just have a whole bunch of stuff. And my rods. So you guys can see how I have my rods set up. I built that little wooden thing right when I got my car like a year and a half, two years ago. Um, just a piece of wood. I got some staples in it. Got some screws in it. And then this is just a whole bunch of stuff. I don't even know. There's a couple wooden dowels, uh, a plastic pipe. Basically just duct taped it. It's a big redneck rig. Duct taped it so it fits like this. It makes a little T-bar. can rest my rods like that. You can see I've got 13 rods in there. Um, most of them have rod gloves on them. Not all of them. I lost a whole bunch of them. I don't know how. Um, and then they have the rod wraps. So I can literally grab one rod, and you can see it takes all the rods with it. So I can, I just grab the bundle and carry it in the hotel, carry it to the boat, do whatever. It's super easy to transport. So if you guys have a lot of rods like I do and you have to transport them a lot, I recommend building one of these. If you have an SUV, building one of these, it keeps everything elevated. It keeps it going like this. You can keep stuff below it. As you can see, I got tackle everywhere. It's not like my rods are laying up. They're not banging against the ceiling or anything. Um, and then I would recommend getting the rod wraps by Rod Glove as well as the actual rod gloves themselves. Um, they work awesome. I don't, I don't even know what I would do without them to be honest with you. It would just be a big tangled up mess. Um, but yeah, so you guys can feel free to copy this little idea. I've already had a whole bunch of people DM me pictures of their own little com, you know, contraption. I don't know. I just kind of, I came up with it. I got my SUV. I used to have a truck and so that was kind of easy to throw everything in the back. But then I got an SUV and I was like, alright, i got to come up with something that uh, will allow me to keep my rods somewhat organized keep stuff in here blah 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 and came up with this guy in about an hour and then went from there and i've had it for like two years and it's worked fine so um but yeah i mean that's pretty much it i'll give you kind of a walk around of the car person's bumping over there uh but yeah you can see got new tires put on it this winter or right before winter some discover atps they're pretty pretty mean looking tread I've taken this car mudding a couple times, and I've gone through about a foot and a half of snow without any issues. It's actually really, really good in the snow because it's got four-wheel drive, and it's pretty lightweight. But I'll keep going around. But nothing nothing crazy special. Uh, but I know a lot of you guys wanted to see a video of this, and so I got my... Oakley sunglasses up there too but I know a lot of you guys want to see a video of this and so I was like oh well you know I got everything loaded up for the tournament ready to go so I figured I would show you guys 
the most important part is this back part because that's just freaking cool having everything just lined up back here everything's labeled i know where everything is i can see what i've got that's kind of a pile of junk but i can i'll sort through it at some point you know it's not necessary right now and so this is how i transport all my stuff this is how i travel so i get to the hotel get to the campground get to the lake whatever everything's ready to rock and roll and so yeah so that's it for today's episode. If you have any other video suggestions, let me know because this was a viewer requested video. And that's it. Thanks for watching.